Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and I am super excited to bring you my all-time top 10 favorite Tetras on the face of this earth. We've got some really nice ones here. Now, with these Tetras, I've ranked them in four different categories. Their behavior, how much they cost, their overall hardiness, and of course, how cool they look. And so it's a scale of one to 10 for each category. They can score up to 40 points and that's how I rank them from 10 all the way down to one. We'd love to hear from you. What are your favorite Tetras? And by the way, if you want more information on the fish that are featured in this video, check out the description below. We'll have tons of species profiles for you. Appreciate you being here. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, breaking into the top 10 all time favorite Tetras, the Rummy Nose Tetra. This is an absolutely fantastic fish. Now here's what I gave it. I gave it a total of 24, six for color, four for hardiness, seven for cost, seven for behavior. Let me explain why. When it comes to the color, obviously these fish look good. That's why they made the top 10. Love that red face, love the stripes on their tail fin. And they've got a nice silver body. So in a large group like you're seeing here, this is going to be a wonderful fish. Now, when it comes to hardiness, this is where I kind of, uh, the rummy nose lost a little bit of points for me. And the reason for that is they tend to be prone to ick and they tend to not tolerate water parameters that are on the really hard side very well or with a really high pH. And so that's the reason why I deducted points there. Cost. These fish are usually going to be relatively easy to find and they're not going to be all that expensive and their behavior, the behavior is fantastic. You can see that they like to school together. Thus, they break the top 10 at number 10. On the list, number nine has to be the green neon only because I'm going to get in trouble by Joanna if I don't mention this fish in the top 10. No, this is a really nice fish. And you can see here, I gave it a score of 25, seven for color and hardness, hardiness, uh, six for cost, five for behavior. Let's break that down. Talk about why. Well, one, the color is outstanding. You can see here, it's got that nice greenish blue color that really stands out in an aquarium. Hardiness, we've had really good luck with these neons. In fact, they're the second most hardy neon type that we have kept. That's why I gave it a number of seven. For cost, I gave it a six because out of the neon types, they're a little bit harder to find and sometimes they cost a little bit more than the other types of neons. And then when it comes to behavior, I do find the green neons to be a little bit more reclusive. They hide a little bit more, but they're still absolutely outstanding fish. Next up on my list of top 10 at number eight is the standard neon tetra. I really enjoy this fish. I actually prefer the color on the standard neon more than the green. Gave it a total of a 25, seven for color, three for hardiness, eight for cost, seven for behavior. Let's talk about why. When it comes to the neon, again, I really like the color, prefer it a little bit more than the green neon, that really nice blue and the red really stands out, especially in a large group. I think where the points got deducted the most was for the hardiness. These fish tend to be very prone to neon disease. They tend not to be all that hardy, especially if you're keeping them at a higher pH with a little bit higher water hardness. They just tend to die off a little bit sooner than some of the other neons that we're gonna be talking about here. And I would put them as some of the least hardy neons on our top 10 list. That being said, they are relatively cheap. You're gonna usually find them for just a few dollars each and their behavior is awesome with a lot of really cool schooling behavior. Rolling in at number seven for me is the Von Rio Tetra. There's actually a couple different types here. You're looking at the wild type. Later on, I'm gonna show you the orange variety. Just like the neon, it got a total of 25, seven for color, five for hardiness, six for cost, and seven for behavior. The color obviously is great. I actually prefer the wild type compared to the orange that we're going to see here shortly. The hardiness of this fish, again, this is one where sometimes it's a little bit prone to ick, a little bit prone to bloat, might not be as hardy as some of the other Tetra types that we feature on this list. Cost is pretty decent. They're gonna be a little bit more sometimes in your standard neons or maybe even your rummy nose, depending on your market. But their behavior is really cool. They're a little bit more feisty than any of the other Tetras that we've talked about so far. And they've got a little bit more activity than some, but they are a really awesome fish. Coming up at number six for me in my top 10, 
It's the Congo tetra. This is the largest of the fish we've talked about so far, the tetras that we've talked about. I gave it a total of a 27, seven for color, six for hardiness, seven for cost and behavior. This is an outstanding fish. The colors are very different. They've got that iridescent sort of color, but not only that, the fins, especially on the males, can be really outstanding. The other cool thing about the Congo tetra is it is a relatively hardy fish. We haven't had too many problems with it. It can withstand a wide variety of water parameters. Uh, Cost-wise, sometimes you can find them pretty cheap for just a few dollars each, and for a fish that gets this large, and this beautiful it's a real bargain their behavior is outstanding they like to be together and what's nice is this is a little bit larger tetra so you can keep them with slightly larger fish you just might need a larger tank for them well now we're getting into my top five just a reminder we do have species profiles for all these fish my number five is the cardinal tetra absolutely love this fish gave it a total of a 27 as well color is a nine hardiness of five and cost of five and behavior is an eight this is an outstanding fish. The colors are unrivaled. Ever since I was a child, I thought they were one of the most beautiful tropical fish that you can find. Absolutely love them. Now, when it comes to their hardiness, this is where they lose some points because the Cardinal Tetra can sometimes be prone to ick and doesn't necessarily tolerate wide varieties of water parameters. Cost, the reason why I listed them at five is because they're gonna be one of the more expensive Tetras on our list today. And you're gonna want them in a large group, which the cost can add up in a hurry there. But the behavior is outstanding. One of the really nice things about the Cardinal Tetras is how tightly they like to school and what a striking appearance that is when they do. In at number four for me is a fish I've loved for a long time, and that is the Black Phantom Tetra. Absolutely love this fish. I've had them in numerous tanks in the past. Gave them a total of a 27, color seven, hardiness six, cost and behavior also seven. The color is gonna be a little bit more muted, but they get a lot of nice blue and nice purple. The hardiness is something where sometimes they're a little bit prone to ick, but they're not unusually weak, and they can withstand a decent range in water parameters. The cost, they might be a little bit more expensive, than some of the fish that we've talked about so far, but their behavior is cool. They might be a little bit more fin nippy, a little bit more rambunctious than some of the fish we've talked about so far, but they're a really nice addition to it, about a 20 to 29 gallon or larger. At number three for me, it has to be the Ember Tetra. I absolutely love this fish. They stay small. In fact, they're one of the smaller Tetras that we're going to feature on this top 10 list today. And they are amazing. You can see here, I gave them a total of 31, eight for color, eight for hardiness, eight for cost, seven for behavior. There's just not much this fish can't do. The orange that you see in the Ember Tetra absolutely stands out. It is amazing. The hardiness of this fish is unmatched, really, from all the fish we've talked about so far. This is one of the most hardy tetras that we have featured on this list today. They can withstand the widest range of water parameters. They're relatively cheap. You can find them at most pet stores, which makes them really accessible. And their behavior is cool. They're not necessarily going to school as tightly as some of the other tetras on the list, but they are gonna shoal together and they're gonna provide an amazing color for your aquarium. Number two for me, I know this is gonna be surprising for some, but it's gotta be the black neon for a lot of reasons. Now this fish, we always seem to have it in our fish room, gave it a total of a 31, six for color, nine for hardiness and cost, and seven for behavior. Now I understand the color is not gonna stand out as much as some of the fish that we have on our list today, but it makes up for it in other areas. For instance, it's the most hardy tetra that I have ever kept in my life. They withstand a wide range of water parameters and just really do well and live a long time. The other thing that's nice about them is they are relatively cheap and easy to find. And of course their behavior is really nice. They tend to school a lot more than some of the other tetras that we've seen here, especially some of the other neon types. I just absolutely love this fish. The fact that you can throw them in a tank and they are going to be there for years to come. And now for the moment you've been waiting for, my all time favorite Tetra ever is the Red Cherry Tetra. This fish absolutely stands out in a fish tank like no other. I gave it a 10 for color, nine for hardiness, three for cost, nine for behavior, total of 31. Now the color, I think it speaks for itself. These fish get such a deep orange, almost red color. It's absolutely outstanding and it's very noticeable from across the room. The hardiness of these fish have been outstanding. They tend to withstand a wide variety of water parameters and they're relatively easy to keep. 
The one knock on them, and it's a big one, is the cost. These fish by far are going to cost way more than any of the fish that we have featured on this top 10 list. It's not uncommon to see even one of these fish going retail around $20 to $25 each. So that is a really hefty cost that you're gonna pay for these fish, and that's why I only gave it a three for the cost. Behavior is outstanding as well. They tend to school very tightly together. They're always around one another. They're out in front of the fish tank most of the time just kind of hanging out looking beautiful and that is why this fish is by far number one on my list even though the numbers it was tied with two and three in terms of number this would be my number one would love to hear from you what are your favorite tetras put that down in the comments section below and again if you want more information on the fish that we featured in this video check out the species profiles down in the description as well appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one